If you're on the fence about buying a Steam Deck, this video is going to help you decide one way or another because the truth is, the Steam Deck isn't for everyone. But if any of these five reasons apply to you, then you should probably get one because you're gonna have a good time with it. Let's start with number one. You like playing video games, but you don't have large chunks of time where you can sit down and play. Oh, and I should say at the start, all five of these reasons apply to me, and ultimately these are why I bought a Steam Deck. So if you like to play video games, but you don't have very much free time, the Steam Deck is perfect. After I got my Steam Deck, I started playing more video games, but it didn't take a chunk out of my life like I thought it would. I ended up just playing video games in time that was kind of wasted before. Here are a couple examples. One of the times that I play the Steam Deck most is in the kitchen when I'm cooking. You have to wait 10 minutes for something to bake or 20 minutes or whatever. You pop out the Steam Deck, you play a few rounds of whatever the game is you're playing, and you get in some time in there. Also, I started playing video games when I'm going on road trips, which I could never do before. I started playing in the airport when I'm flying, which I never could do before. And I even started doing it uh, when I'm taking a sh which is probably not a good idea, but I'm not gonna lie, I do it. The point is, a lot of us don't have a couple hours at a time where we can sit down and dedicate entirely to video games, but because the Steam Deck is portable and it has this quick resume feature where you just press the power button and within one or two seconds, you're exactly where you left off, then it allows you to take 10 minutes that were kind of wasted time where maybe you were playing on your phone or just sitting there, and now you can play video games during those. So it's a way of turning that wasted time into fun video game time, and I'm all about that. Oh, on that note, and this will probably apply to a lot of people, is my girlfriend and I like to watch TV, and she likes to watch some of her shows, and some of her shows I don't wanna watch. So a lot of times I would sit there on the couch because I wanna be next to her, but I would just be on my phone, or I'd be watching the show, but I'm not actually enjoying it because it's just not my type of show. But now now I can put in like one headphone and then I can play on my Steam Deck on the couch next to her. So we're spending some time together, but we're both kind of doing our own thing. And that's something I couldn't do with a console because on a console, I needed to be playing on the TV and she wanted the TV for her shows. So the Steam Deck having its own screen is perfect. The next reason, and this is probably the biggest reason, is if you're on a budget. The Steam Deck starts at 400 bucks. And while that sounds like a lot, and to be totally fair, it is a lot of money. It's not as much when you compare it to the competition. For example, if you wanna get a gaming PC, unless you're getting it used and getting a lot of parts used, you're probably not gonna be able to build one for 400 bucks, especially not if you have to buy a monitor, keyboard, mouse, all the accessories. And then if you wanna get a something like a console, like an Xbox or a PlayStation, 400 bucks is about in line, but then you give up the portability and then you have to pay a subscription service if you wanna play online, whereas the Steam Deck, you don't. Your games are gonna be a lot more expensive, probably closer to 60 bucks, whereas on the Steam Deck, you can get huge sales from like the Steam Summer Sale, or we just had the Spring Sale, and you can get games for a really good price. And so while 400 bucks is a lot of money, I'm not saying that it's not. When you compare it against anything else, I actually think it's a really good deal. Oh, and right now I think the Steam Deck is on sale for $40 off, so the base model is like 360, which is kind of crazy. And I would say that base model, which is the model I got, this is this model right here, uh, it's not really usable with its base 64 gigs. So what I would do is buy an SD card. I bought a 512 gig SD card for like 50 bucks. You slot that in, now you can fit plenty of games and you're in the whole 450 bucks, which is still relatively cheap. The next reason, and this is huge for me is if you sit at a desk too much. I'm someone for my day job, I sit at a desk. And then when I go home, I usually, or I used to go and sit at a desk and edit these videos or do whatever. But I always ended up sitting at a desk. And when I had my gaming PC, I would go home and I would sit at a desk and play video games. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I just got tired of sitting at a desk all the time. I wanted to play video games, but I didn't want to sit at my desk anymore. So the Steam Deck is perfect because I can go, you can go play outside, you can go play on your couch, you can go play in the kitchen, you can go play while you're doing whatever, you can go play at the park. And while I know it sounds like a little thing, being able to play places other than at your desk can be a huge benefit to people like me who sit at a desk all day long. The fourth reason, and if you don't own a Switch, this probably applies to you, is that you wanted a Nintendo Switch, but you didn't really like all the games that were on it. I'm someone who I wanted to Switch because I wanted the portability, but the games catalog just wasn't there. I wanted to play Zelda Breath of the Wild, 
world. I wanted to play Super Smash Bros and Mario Kart, but other than that, I didn't really like the games catalog, and most of the games that I personally play are AAA games. Like, I, I like playing Elden Ring and Call of Duty Black Ops and Fallout 4, and right now I'm playing World War Z Aftermath, and all these AAA games that you just can't play on the Switch. So while the Switch is more portable than the Steam Deck and a lot of times cheaper, the games catalog just isn't comparable. And so if you want to play Steam games or AAA games, the Switch probably wouldn't do it for you and the Steam Deck can. So if you look at my top played games on the Steam Deck, they're about in this order, which is Elden Ring, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty World War II, Fallout 4, and World War Z. And the only one of those games that's available on the Switch is World War Z. But unfortunately, the expansion pack for World War Z isn't on the Switch, so that's the main version that I play, and so I wouldn't be able to do that on the Switch. So actually, all of my top played games on the Steam Deck just aren't available for the Switch. So even though the Switch is really cool, and it's cheaper, and it's more portable, it just doesn't have the games that you or I might want to play. And number five, and this might not apply to you unless you're like a PC enthusiast, is that you like to tinker, at least a little bit. The Steam Deck gives you so much freedom to mess with basically anything you want, from the vibrancy of the screen, to the GPU clock speeds, to locking the frame rate at 40, to changing how many watts the CPU and GPU can pull, you have access to everything. And if you look at the Switch, or if you look at an Xbox or a PlayStation, you don't have anything like that. The only thing that's comparable in your ability to tinker and mess around with the settings is a PC, but obviously if you get a PC, you give up that portability. And so someone like me, I don't like spending all day tinkering, but I do like to tweak things to how I like them. And the Steam Deck gives you the ability to do that in a really fun way. Valve has allowed the community so much control and so much access to behind the scenes into the software that you really have the ability to change a lot of things that you cannot change on other consoles or handheld PCs. And that probably begs the question, hey, Sam, I want a Steam Deck but I don't want to tinker with it. And here's the good news is that if you don't want to tinker, you don't have to. A lot of games out there play straight out of the box and you don't have to mess with anything. Tinkering is one of those things where some people will call it a bug and some people will call it a feature, but I'm definitely calling it a feature on this because if you don't tinker, your Steam Deck is gonna run just great. You're gonna have a good time. But if you do tinker, you can tweak everything to your likings. And like, here's here would be a good example is I'm playing Elden Ring and I want my battery life to last longer. Well, I can drop the frame rate, I can lower the resolution, and then I can increase F FSR to make it look like a better resolution. I can tinker with a few of the settings, and then all of a sudden, I'm getting an extra hour of playtime out of my Steam Deck without seriously impacting the visuals, and that's awesome. Every other console that I'm aware of, like the Switch, an Xbox, or a PlayStation, you just don't have the ability to control stuff like that because they want it to be simple and easy to use for their users, which I totally understand. But as someone who's a bit more of an enthusiast or maybe just a hobbyist, I like having access to that stuff. And so it's actually a selling point for the Steam Deck itself. And in this category of tinkering, I'm also going to put emulation in that the Steam Deck can emulate just about everything. We won't go into the details because I don't want Nintendo down my throat, but you can emulate a lot of stuff. So those are the top five reasons why I bought a Steam Deck and why I think you might wanna buy one too. If you have different reasons, let me know in the comment section below, or if you disagree with some of the reasons that I put in this video, let me know. This video is the exact thought process that I went through before I bought my Steam Deck to try and justify it to myself. And after I got it, I am so glad that I got it. A lot of these things, which are reasons now, I didn't know were going to be as important or as cool as I do now. It's kind of one of those things where you don't know what you were missing until you have it. And now that you have it, you don't ever want to go without it. So I think I think for probably the rest of my life, I'm gonna wanna have a portable handheld gaming PC or whatever you wanna call this thing. I'm not exactly sure what to call it. But for the rest of my life, I'm probably gonna have one because they are fantastic. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you loved it, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it would mean a lot to me. And that's gonna do it for the video. Okay, see you guys.